Alrighty, hello guys, Welcome your faces back to another Stormworks search and destroy video. Today we are continuing on with our tank, and as you guys can see, we now have an actual working gun. We've also got spotlights on the side, we have a camera with an actual aim thing on the inside, as you guys can see, and uh, yeah, we've actually got a loading system too, so we actually grab it from this side if we want HE, we grab it from this side if we want Prags, and uh, yeah, that actually totally works. So, um, with all that being said, let's go ahead and fire it. Woo! There we go, and there's the explosion. That's pretty awesome. Uh, but today, what we're actually going to go ahead and try and do is make a, like, a hull-mounted machine gun, if that makes sense. So we're going to try and make a machine gun that pokes out somewhere here that we can still actually load ammo into from the inside of the tank and maybe even control it. That's going to be kind of difficult to do, I'm not going to lie, but we're going to try. Let's get on with it. Okie dokie, so here we go, this is the machine gun right here, and as you guys can see, it is pretty big. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna work, like, we could actually mount it like this, uh, but we still need it to be able to, like, turn from side to side, and we still need to actually be able to put ammo in it, so, realistically, it actually needs to be mounted all the way back there, uh, and still be able to turn, so if we delete this, we get rid of this seat, because it's completely useless, uh, right now, uh, and we actually build ourselves something in here. So let's say uh, we actually get ourselves a pivot. Here we go. And let's see if this works. So put it directly on top of there. Bosh. There we go. Excellent. Uh, get ourselves the machine gun, which is here. And whack it directly on top of this. Okay. Excellent. Uh, we then need the ammunition. Uh, which would be awesome, but I don't know where it is. Hold on. Machine gun ammo. Where is it? Where is it? Hold on. Just type in machine gun, then it'll work. Here we go. Ammo box. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Awesome. Uh, and that would be it, kind of. <laughs> that would be it, kind of. However, I would like to sort of hide it within the hole, so somewhat like this. Uh, and yeah, we get ourselves a machine gun. Will it work? I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know. I guess we'll see. So grab another one of these chairs. We could actually put it further to the side, possibly. All right, delete that. There we go. We can put it right there. Awesome. Uh, and then I guess A and D actually controls this. And we might even be able to make it work. I don't know. Let's see. Alright, so we can actually reload it from inside up here. So, so far, so good. If we want to turn it, we can actually turn it a little bit to the right. And we can turn it a little bit to the left. I think that's actually enough movement. I think that's enough movement. Yeah, that works. Awesome. Alright, so we are actually going to go ahead and clamp it if we can. So, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, clamp. Is this going to work, actually? Hold on. Uh, do clamps work this way? So, min value, max value. So... Min value is minus, not point, I don't know, two, I guess. And then max value is actually just not point two, and that should be it. Okay, right, well, grab this, we need to hide it. <laughs> grab it, we need to hide it, we've just got it out on the roof. So go ahead and cut this, move it sideways, put it down. We'll hide it just next to it, actually, we might as well. So we can actually just put it behind it, there we go, bring it in, drop it down, paste it right there. Merge it together, and voila, it works. Awesome. That's actually really good. Okay, so with that being said then, let's go ahead and add some other bits and bobs, shall we? Uh, so I'm thinking we actually go ahead and attach this to here like this, send it into the ground, and we send this straight back up to there. There we go. Because I want the in interior of this tank to actually look pretty good too. Um, and unfortunately, I'm just not the best at doing that, so I'm going to try my best. But uh, if it doesn't work, I'm sorry. Okay, so what is all this? Why is the roof this color? This makes no sense. Uh, let's let's go ahead and take it back to the green. There we go. A few people have said as well uh, that they don't actually like the green. Now, that's okay. Uh, if you guys don't like it, we can change it, and we will, probably. Uh, but we need to come up with a color that we actually like most. So, we'll get a color code, and we'll do it that way. Maybe, possibly. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead and drug the floor. We'll actually have like a wooden floor kind of thing. Uh, I know it wouldn't be a wooden floor, but um, I think in this tank I'm going to go ahead and make it a wooden floor. Just because I can. There we go. Go ahead and seal all this off. In fact, yeah, the chairs being that colour is actually a good idea too. Because the other one looks a bit orange. There we go. That actually looks really good. Nice. Nice. Alright, fill this in. Bam. Fill this in. Bam and bam. And there we go. That's actually awesome. That is awesome. Fill this in too. And there we go. So the front of the tank doesn't even look that bad anymore, so that's good. 
Let's go ahead and grab this and cut it and put it in the right place. Here we go. So our speedo for our tank is going to go right about here. Oh, I can't. I can't have it there. All right, well, I guess it's going to go in the floor then. That's fine. Merge that with this. Bosh, there we go. Awesome. Uh, we then need to move these guys about. So I actually think we shouldn't start the tank from the driver's seat, to be honest. So we'll actually change that a little bit. Uh, and I am going to go ahead and try and figure this bit out. So this doesn't even need to be here. It doesn't even need to be there. I don't know why it's there. All right, there we go. That makes things a lot easier, a lot better. All right, so now that we've got that, uh, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and build a little system in the side here. A little, uh, I don't know, like a little control panel, I guess. We'll send it up to the roof. We'll send this down as well. Uh, and we'll grab these two. And hopefully we'll put them in the right place. So drag it across. Bring it over to here. Lift it up. We'll actually put it right there. Awesome. And then we'll do the same with this guy. Cut it. Turn it around and stuff. Bosh, there we go. Move it in. And this is how we start the engine. Okay, awesome. Uh, merge them. So merge this and this. Awesome. We need some dials. Uh, and this will show all of our engine stats and stuff. So we'll do one, two, three. And we'll also actually paint these guys. There we go. All right. That's really good. And that's really good too. Yes. Okay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and paint these guys as well. Uh, so that they look like that instead. And... Uh, we actually need to label some of these things. So this could be the engine RPS. We also need our fuel and stuff. Uh, which isn't added together just yet, but that's fine. Um, engine RPS. There we go. We'll, we'll write that in there. Uh, engine. RPS. Okay, excellent. This is going to be our fuel. Level. There we go. And this is going to be our battery. Battery. There we go. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and click this. Drag it over to there. Very nice. And then our fuel level needs an add. So we'll just go ahead and put an add in. Uh, and we'll actually just slot it in here in the front because we can. So there you go. Uh, whack this directly onto there. We'll go ahead and put B on this one. And we'll put A on this one. Okay, excellent. That's it. So they're all added together. That's amazing. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and paint the walls a little bit of a different color. And I guess I'm going to have to paint this too. There we go. All right. Awesome. That looks pretty good. Delete this guy. Delete this guy. And we need to hide this one somewhere else. Uh, ooh, we need to hide this somewhere else. So could it move it into the floor maybe? We can't literally just leave it there. That's fine. Paste it. There we go. Merge it in and paint it. And that's it. All right. Cool. It's hidden. Nice. This is good. Okie dokie. So all of that is actually A-OK. -okay. I really, really like that. That's awesome. Uh, what we could do is we could actually have like a little seat for this guy. Or, actually, we can have a little, um, like a little stand for him, if that makes sense. So, if we can drag this across like this, there we go. We'll have ourselves a little stand, shall we? So, when the turret turns around, this guy turns. That'd be awesome. Alright, here we go, do this. And I think we'll actually just literally do it with these guys. So, we'll put this on here like this. There we go. On both sides. And we'll have it just stand together like that. There we go. Alright, awesome. Yeah, that works. Looks a bit weird, but I think it'll work. So if you're on the gun uh, and you let go to actually reload, you can just stand on there. I think that's actually fine. Okay. I'm also going to give it a flaw. A little bit. There we go. All right. Excellent. Excelente. Go ahead and paint this this color because we can. And we'll leave it just like that. Good. Guys, I like this. It's working. It's working. We're going to paint all of this like this too. All right. Good. Yes. Uh, so, we also need a way of actually getting into the tank. I haven't worked that one out yet, but that's okay. Uh, let's see if we can shoot this machine gun and see how that works. We'll also get some spare machine gun bullets and stuff. Uh, and we'll put them somewhere too, because that makes sense. So, we'll actually have those, uh, racked up right here, next to each other. There we go. Uh, are these on the right way around? Yeah, and then... That one. There we go. Are they all the same? Yes, they are. Uh, they're all going to be uh, kinetic. Armor piercing, probably. There we go. Armor piercing and armor piercing. Very good. And I guess they're all going to be like, yeah, that color. That's fine. All right. Awesome. So now we should, it should all work. It should all work fine. Uh, we'll just give this um, a trigger. So we'll be able to shoot it. We can turn it left and right already. That's it. I think that's all we need. 
Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and get inside the tank. There we go. Is it looking better than it was before? I think it does actually look a little bit better. Uh, we'll obviously put fire extinguishers in here, first aid kits and stuff like that. Please say it still works. There we go, engine RPS is... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Fuel level and battery. Okay, excellent. Alright, go. Oh, I love it! Yes! Okay, excellent. And now, if we want to shoot a machine gun, we just do this. And you know what? That actually shoots enough, too. And then when we, we need to reload, we can just grab a new, a new cartridge and shoot it again. That is amazing! Yes! Oh, it totally fits, too. That's so cool. That's so cool. Alright, so I guess what I also want to do today is I'm going to go ahead and try and find a colour to change this tank to. Now, I'm going to go on the interwebs and we're going to try and find a colour code for a British tank. And we'll see what kind of colours it comes up with. And then maybe we'll change it to one of those. Okay, so I had a little look and uh, I found some colours, to be, to be totally honest with you guys. I did find some colours and I actually found some from the RAF. Now, obviously this isn't an RAF tank. Uh, that doesn't make sense to be that, but... Uh, we can actually use the colours that I've found because some of them actually look pretty good for a tank. So, this one's called Ocean Grey. It is 85, 94, 87. So, 85, 85, 94, 94, 87, 87. There we go. So, this right here, let's have a little look, see what kind of colour that is. Oh, wow, it's very... That's very dark. I'm not sure I like that. We'll go with the other one. So, 85, 97, 85, 97... 97, uh, 71. Okay, here we go. So this makes a more green color. Bosh that on there. I think that's more the right color, actually. We'll go with that. We'll actually go with that. So this is our, like, our tank green. I think that works. It looks, it looks like it should work. Good. Okie dokie. So this is what it actually looks like when it spawned in. And this green definitely fits, which is awesome. Yes, it does. Uh, if we want to get into the tank, we can still get in through the roof if we wanted to. There we go. Uh, I do need to test out this loading system. So let's move ourselves forwards. Uh, and then we'll get on the gun and we'll see if we can load it and work it properly uh, when we're outside. So let's go outside. There we go. What, what about the color? Yes. You know what? This... Wow! The color works. The color actually totally works. I like it. I do. I like it. It's nice. It is a nice color. Uh, right. Okay. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and stop ourselves right here. Uh, I don't have a light inside of here, which is annoying. We'll open up the roof. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> but anyway, open up this. There we go. We can actually grab ourselves around, put it in, chamber it, get back on the gun, turn it to the side, and shoot. And then we can jump off, open this, grab another one, put it in, do this, jump back on the gun, and shoot. Amazing! Yeah, we can actually, uh, we can actually load things in very quickly and very easily now. So that's awesome. Yeah, our tank is actually getting there. It is getting there. That's amazing. There is a problem though. Okay, so I'm on the uh, the gun. All right, if we try and aim up, we can't actually aim any higher than this. Now, I don't know what's stopping it, uh, to be totally honest with you. So we need to come up with something that will stop that from being a problem. And I don't know what it is. To be honest, it might be the chair that's doing it. Not the chair, but the handle. It might be the handle that's doing it. Or... It could actually be this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. We'll test it, see if it works. Uh, and if it does work, we'll have to sort out something else for there, but that's okay. So get on here. Aim up. There you go. I think that aims up a lot more than it did, so that's good. Yeah, I feel like that's better, actually. I do. We won't need to aim that high anyway, so I think that's okay. Uh, and yeah, that works. That actually totally works. Good. Guys, we did it. We did it. That's awesome. Okay, so I guess with that being said then, let's go ahead and delete this guy. And we'll actually go ahead and put this guy right here like this. And on the back of here, we'll actually go ahead and put this guy. And then it doesn't look so weird or out of place or anything like that. So I'm actually pretty proud with this. Uh, I think we'll leave it as is for right now. It looks awesome to me. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one where I think we'll put more into the interior. Um, and we'll also put a hatch in here so we can actually get in and out of the uh, driver's seat down there. Uh, and I think we just need a little bit more decoration too, because honestly, at the minute, it's pretty dull, I'm not gonna lie. But um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of what we've got so far. It all works. That's, that's cool. That's the main thing as well. Alright, well anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.